Hey, it's Marin, and this is the September 2019 forecast for Virgo Risings. So first off, we'll get to talking about what themes are staying for you this whole entire month, and then we'll get into specific dates and times for when set things are happening for you. So starting out this whole entire month, planets in your own sign of Virgo will be trining planets in Capricorn and Uranus in Taurus, and this beautiful Grand Earth trine will be between your first, fifth, and ninth houses. These are all houses relating to enjoyable activities Activities. Their houses about the first house ourself, fifth house creativity, romance, and children, and ninth house higher aspirational goals like long term travel, long distance trips, uh, higher education. So, this grounded earth energy happening in this area of your sky is representing day-to-day -day practical steps to achieve your goals. What are you doing yourself to have more fun and reach your dreams? What are you implementing today to set yourself up for success for tomorrow? And at the same time, the planets in Virgo will be squaring Jupiter and Sagittarius, connecting your first and fourth houses. This is exciting because you're probably getting some benefits at home that then help you on your personal development journey. So some specific dates going on for you. On the second, Venus squares Jupiter between your first and fourth houses. Again, the benefics are connecting here, connecting your first, ho first house of self and your fourth house of home and family. Family could definitely be helping you out either financially or just a really great support system to let you achieve your goals. On the ninth, Mars trying Saturn between your four first and fifth houses. This is an aspect of long-term tangible growth and implementing day-to-day -day effort and steps so that you can work smarter, not harder. Between your first and fifth houses, this definitely could be that you yourself are putting in specific work for a creative project or a project with your kids or a romantic partner. On the 14th, there's a full moon in Pisces in your 7th house, and this is a, a culmination of the past 6 months in your relationship sector. On the 14th, Mars opposes Neptune between your 1st and 7th houses, so make sure that a partner is not leading you to be deceived or deluded with your own personal goals and priorities. On the 18th, Saturn stations direct in Capricorn in your 5th house. So over the past few years, Saturn's been asking you to make some mature, grounded changes with how you deal with romance and creativity and having fun, basically. And with Saturn having been retrograde, you've been reanalyzing that growth, and now going direct for the final part of its transit, you're dealing with the last few lessons in terms of how to manage your fun life, basically. On the 21st, Jupiter squares Neptune between your 4th and 7th houses. Make sure that the really awesome things going on connecting your home and your relationships aren't going too haywire and that you're not deluding yourself or being overly optimistic. Good things are coming connecting your home and property and your relationships. On the 23rd, the sun enters Libra, and on the 28th, there's a new moon in Libra in your second house of finances. So, especially on the 28th, if you're wanting to manifest or build something new in your financial world, this is a great time to set those intentions. So, overall, this month is a spotlight on your own self development and being self assured and taking care of yourself so that you can achieve the fun and the goals and the dreams that you know that you deserve, but realizing that it starts on a day to day day choice here and now. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, give this video a like, subscribe, do all the things. I do offer private consultations down below and I'm now also offering astro mentoring with groups and individuals and I have my new basics courses coming out too. So I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.